Welcome to Basketball Temple. Today we are going to teach you how to do a crossover from the bottom up. A crossover is basically a change in direction move where you begin to go one way but then you change direction and go the other way. It's a great move for getting by your defender for the easy bucket. It's also a beautiful move when executed properly and everyone loves it so let's learn how to do it. The first step in a crossover is change in direction footwork. Footwork is very important because it's your feet that gets by your opponent. For change in direction footwork, the first thing you want to do is to push off your back foot to begin going in the start direction. Then in order to change direction, you plant your outside foot and push to go in the other direction. Here's a look at the top view. Again, I push off my back foot to begin going in the start direction. Then I plant my outside foot and push in order to go in the other direction. One of the main reasons you use change in direction footwork is to deceive your opponents. Football players are a great example for this. I know it's a different sport, but trust me, the footwork is the same for a crossover in basketball. I want you to take a moment and watch these football players change directions because they are masters of this. A great drill for practicing your footwork is simply placing two cones in front of you one representing each foot of your defender and practicing changing directions on the cones. Make sure you practice slowly at first and gradually increase your speed as you get better. This not only prevents injury, but it also makes sure you have good form. Step 2. Ball follows footwork. In step 2, you will begin dribbling the basketball while practicing your footwork. The important thing to note here is that even though you're dribbling the basketball, I want you to remain focusing on your footwork only. Try not to think about the ball. Let it just naturally move with your footwork. Also in step 2, don't worry about what your upper body is doing. Your upper body will move in rhythm naturally with your footwork as you focus on your footwork. The more aggressive you are with your footwork, for example, pushing off and exploding in the start direction, and planting your outside foot and changing direction, the more aggressive you are, the more your upper body will be in rhythm naturally with your lower body. Here's a quick look at the side view to show you the distance you should be when you make the move. You shouldn't be too far because the move won't work, and you shouldn't be too close because you'll get the ball stolen. You want to make sure you're about an arms plus distance away. Step 3. Add some ball and eye fake. Make sure you've mastered steps 1 and 2 first. So in step 3, as I push off my back foot to go in the start direction, what I'll want to do is I'll also want to push the ball out and look in the direction that I'm moving. Again, as I push off my back foot to go in the start direction, I'll also push the ball out and look in that same direction.
Alright, so now that we've learned steps 1, 2, and 3, let's put it all together. Let's see it in action. And that's it. That's the crossover from the bottom up. Please stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we'll show you more basketball skills and drills. Thanks for watching guys. We would like to quickly introduce the Basketball Temple Belt System. It's a carefully designed basketball curriculum that will help a player progress from beginner white belt to advanced black belt. We will be posting video lessons from this curriculum for free on YouTube to share with the community. All we ask from you is to help us out by hitting the like button on our video and subscribing to our channel. Thanks a lot.